Duncan, we are out here on Ninth and St. Clair where the city is preparing for their movie night that they're doing free for the community. As you can see behind me, the, the young citizens have already started attacking the, the fire truck. You know, <laughs> I guess they don't know that they can go two at a time or something like that and get a better view. But Duncan, as you can see, if you pan to the right, you can see they are getting ready to set up the big giant movie screen over there. I don't know what's on that side over there, but we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna make our rounds and, um, and we're gonna see what we can bring to you. Hopefully the young folks come out and have a good time. It seems like it's early, but yet people are, are, are piling in now. So we're just going to check out all the other folks that are out here. Duncan, back to you. <laughs> hey, you should have made them uh, get in the lot. We're standing here with the Honorable Mayor Emika Jackson Hicks. Uh, Mayor Hicks, what's going on out here for the people? Well, tonight we're having our first community uh, movie night. We're very excited. We have Big Mamas here. We got free food, free popcorn, and um, we have fun for the children. They're bouncing on the bouncies, and we're just having a good time. And you know what? And the weather is great, isn't it? The weather is perfect. Right. It's perfect. It's nice and cool. There's a nice breeze going on. So what's the featured movie tonight? The featured movie tonight is Zootopia, Zootopia. a nice funny animated family movie so we're excited about that both the kids and the parents so the mayor they're out here tonight they invite you to come on out is this the first of several or the first and uh, we're gonna have to wait and see what happens no this is the first of several we plan on utilizing this area uh, we use we're utilizing for restoration of hope you know this is a community thing we're creating uh, restoring our sense of community uh, again and we're just excited very excited about it and the children are excited <laughs> as excited well We're are y'all ready for the movie yes all right all right all right so just say hi to the people on the count of three one two three hi all right back to you duncan we're gonna circle around and see what else is going on we're preparing to interview our very own city manager to get his thoughts on what's happening here today. This is the first of several I hear. So, uh, Duncan, when you're ready, we're going to interrupt the uh, city manager's live feed, and we're going to take it straight to the studio. You ready, Duncan? So, brother city manager, how you doing today? I'm fantastic. Right. You seem excited about what's going on. Very, very excited. So, very tell excited. the people, uh, you know, who conceived this idea, what's going down with it, and uh, what we're doing here today. So, uh, initially, we were out here with um, the Mayor's Restoration of Hope um, cleanup program. Um, we, we cleared this entire lot. <laughs> Um, we, we cleared the trees, we, we, we edged, we redid the, the circle drive, um, and we had a big cleanup effort. So this is, when we were out here cleaning, we was like, well, okay, now if we clean it, what, what can we do to use this space for the community? Um, so one of the, one of the younger, younger employees said, well, we should have a movie night. We, we should do something that gets the kids involved, gets the people, that get the community involved. So we said, okay, let, let's, let's have a movie night, and here we are. Um, so it started from there. We start planning and getting our community partners and our sponsors together. It's free food out here. The kids are having a great time. We have a bounce house, and all of us have been sponsored, and the kids don't have to pay anything, and, and that's why we do what we do. Y'all have several bounce houses. And look at this movie screen. Now, that's what's up, Duncan, right there. Uh, Brother City Manager, uh, tell the folks what they can do to pitch in and help with the restoration. Is there anything that the citizens can do or what they need to do? Sure. I, I would tell them just come down to City Hall, come to my office. We can talk about how they can be involved. Or they can always call my office, 482-6785. That's 618-482-6785. That's directly to my office. If you want to be involved, we want you to be involved, and we want you to get involved because it is your city. And if we want to change the community, we need the citizens' involvement in order to do so. Exactly. So, there. so the, I noticed that they're going to be uh, restoring the sign here. They are. Welcome to the uh, city of East St. Louis. We, we What's are. in store for you? So we, we, we had a sign campaign where we had local artists throughout the community to get give us um, different designs on how they want the how they want it the sign to look um, we're, we're now looking through those um, different those different um, designs trying to figure out who the winner will be and then we'll have a new sign Amen, amen. Uh, Brother Logan, I appreciate you, man. Look like you're enjoying your job. job. I appreciate that. All right. Go ahead tell Hey Brother Logan. Yes, I am. What what you got? And do you play on the news? Uh, uh, sometimes, right. Okay, what's your name? Armani. Armani, what school you go to? Gordon, I mean Lincoln. Lincoln. Mm -hmm. All right, say hi to anybody you want to send a shout out to? Uh, hey. hey. <laughs> What's your name? Kylie. Kylie. Well, anybody you want to send a shout out to? 
What school you go to? Lakey. How old are you? Eleven. All right, all right. Well, what about you, bro? What's your name? Jamal. Jamal. Jamal, anybody you want to send a shout out to? I'll give I want to say to you. Hold on, baby. Wait a minute. To who? Granny I Evelyn. Camera, baby. You can't block the camera. I give a shout out to my Granny Evelyn. Okay. What about you? What's your name? What's good? Hi. You go to? I'm Jahiro. And I go to school, Clark. Hey, Mama. Hey, that's what's up. What's your name? Asian A. And you go where? To Mason Clark. Okay. Anybody you want to shout out to? Hi, Mom and Dad. Okay. What's your name? Jada. Jada. Anybody? You go what school? Uh, Katie Wright. Okay, Katie Wright. Anybody you want to send a shout out to? My, hi, Mama. Hey, hey. Okay, did we get you? What's your name? Jaquela. Anybody? What school you go to? Dumball. Anybody want to send a shout out to? Hey, Mom and Daddy. Hey, Mom and Daddy. What's your name? Janiah. What school you go to? Uh, Clark. I Anybody? mean, not Clark, but um, Lincoln. Anybody you want to send a shout out to? Everybody that's watching. Okay, that's what's up. Come on, sweetie. Let me get you before you tear me down. What's your name? Delilah. And what, what school you go to? Officer. Officer. Anybody you want to send a shout out to? No. No? All right. Come here, young man. How you doing? Do you know Coach Azel? Yes, I do know Coach Azel. What's your name? Zion Johnson. You play for his team? Yeah. Okay. That's a JJK team, huh? Anybody you want to, what school you go to? My brother play for Jacksonville. Um... Avent. Okay, Avent. Pretty good. She had to think about that one. Anybody you want to say hi to? No. All right, all right. We're going to keep it moving, Duncan. I'm going to toss it back to you as we go find some other folks here and join the night. It's savage, right? Yes. Okay, Ooh, I remember. Some. Look at me. Bam. Okay, okay. Let me know. Mm. How you doing, sir? All right. Uh, Duncan, standing here with the editor-in-chief of the I Am East St. Louis magazine, Mrs. Charmaine Savage. How are you doing today? Very good. How are Very you? Good. Okay, great. Good. I'm still loving t-shirts, you know. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure to see you. Okay, good to see you too. So what brings you out tonight? I am so excited to be here for this movie night, for the community. My granddaughter is visiting me this summer, and she's out here tonight, and she is somewhere. Wow. But she is having a good time tonight. Yes, that's what it do. That's what it do. So are we gonna see a, uh, some of this on your in your magazine? Um, I need to take some pictures. Okay, yeah. I need to take some. What's pictures. the next issue? The next issue is coming out in September. Uh, should be out around the first week of September. Focus. And the theme of that one is going to be health and wellness. Okay, health and wellness. That's health and wellness. Up. Yes. I should have yes. been in that one with our health agency. Okay, but that's what's going on. Okay. Until Maurice to get with me. Okay. So anything you want to say to the people? Um. Please, please, please support what's going on in the city. There are so many wonderful things going on in the city. Um, just keep your ears out. Um, listen out on Facebook. There's always something happening around the city of East St. Louis, and I'm just so excited to be here, to be right. part of it. You know, the last time I was at uh, a movie thing like, like this, it was in Long Acre Park, and look at the city. Uh -huh. They're doing it big tonight. Doing it big, and I'm so excited to be part of it. So am I. Back to you, Duncan. Duncan, you know it ain't no picnic without Big Mamas. What's going down? They all up here representing the city, Duncan. They are out here in the park taking care of the city, and I hear that it's free and all of that. So how, look how they do it. They do it big. Let's go and talk to the owner real quick, Brother Craig. How you doing, Brother Craig? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm good. So uh, you decide to get involved in the movie night and all that and come out and, and show some support to the city. How you feeling about that? Man, I'm loving it. This is a great event. The kids are well-behaved. Uh, uh, everybody's having a good time, so everybody needs to get involved. Amen. Now you know, I come. I'm a frequent visit uh, visitor of Big Mamas. You know, I always come through there and get that Polish. You know, that's what I'm oh, liking. Yeah, I'm loving on the yeah, the hot mama. You know, I'm really liking that. But brother Craig, who is your crew? You got your crew out here today. Yeah, don't give, uh, don't, go on introduce your crew. Yeah, this is Hattie May, Lisa <laughs> May, Lisa May, and Maddie May. <laughs> The May sisters. The May sisters, yeah. Yes. Now, they, these are my girls. They work at the at the store. They love everybody in East St. Louis, so come in and see them. Okay. Anybody you want to give a shout out to? Shout out to? My mama. My mama. Okay. Hey, shout out to my mama, Tracy. Okay. Shout out to my mama and my kids. Okay. Who is that, that beautiful woman back there in the background? Hi. That's my ma That's my maid. <laughs> Oh, but Craig, I'm gonna get on. I'm gonna get on camera. Miss Lori, can you come here for a minute? Come on now, don't be bad. That, that's actually Big Mama. That's Big Mama. Miss <laughs> Lori, they tell me you're actually Big Mama. What's up with that? I'm the mama. He's the big. Okay. <laughs> so 
that's how it is. How you feeling today? This is great. It's been a great evening. Yes, we have really enjoyed ourselves. Duncan, we're going to make sure we get us some of them rip tips or whatever they got going on up in here. But, uh, but Craig, we always want to patronize you, man. We always want to send you a shout. Go and tell the people where they can find you at. I'm at uh, 5900 St. Clair Avenue, that right down East St. Louis. Come on down, right by the hood lot. Come on down to see us. Uh, any, any specials going on? Yeah, we're going to be running a bunch of specials for the holiday coming up, Labor Day. Uh, I'll be look, I'll be advertising them on my billboard out front. Now, bro, Craig. Now I brought my cakes from you from last year's holiday. Go and tell the people what kind of cake you got. Uh, we have a caramel cake, butter pecan cake, banana pudding cake, lemon cake, and orange sherbet cake. And they are all good. And coming in about a week, German chocolate cake. Now that's what's up. That's what's up. Y'all go and say on the count of three. Say Big Mamas. One, two, three. Big Mamas. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm going to toss it. Anything else for Craig? No, thank you very much. You're very welcome. I'm going to toss it back to you, Duncan, at the studio. Hey, watch out, Duncan. I done ran into the lovely Deidre Paul holding it down for the city of East St. Louis. Miss Paul, how you doing? I'm doing well, Harold. Nice to see you and Duncan out on this Friday evening. It's always great to see you, Deidre. So tell the people, you know, what, what's going down? What's up? Wait a minute, baby. Let me get her first. You gonna stay right there and wait for me. I'm, I got you. I'm gonna give you a shout out too, Deidre. Sometimes you just gotta get real with the little folks, okay? Okay, I understand that, Harold. But we are here at the movie night for the city of East St. Louis. We've had several sponsors. We have Big Mamas. We have M's Mark from 15th Street. He donated water and barbecue. We also have Fun Flex with the big screen. We'll be showing Zootopia in about 20 minutes, so you still have time to come on out. We have the NAACP Youth Council right here. They're selling popcorn, chips, and soda, and just trying to give back to the community. Right. It's a lovely location. A lovely, the weather is lovely, Deidre. Y'all could not pick the better night for this. Yeah, I know her. It was supposed to rain, but luckily it didn't, so we are very grateful, and we're happy with the turnout. He's able. Yes, he is. <laughs> well, thank you, Miss Deidre. Always a pleasure. See you next week. Yes, thank okay. you. Okay. All right, Duncan, we're going to keep it moving. You know, the popcorn looking good. Let me make sure. Mm -hmm. NAACP popcorn. That's popcorn that'll protect you. All right. So we're going to keep him rolling, Duncan. We got some other folks to visit. We got some bounce houses over there. People are steady coming out. They they know what's going down right here. So we just hope that this just be a blessed night. We know that East St. Louis finest is on hand. We have the fire trucks on hand over there. So everybody can continue to come on out. And this is the first of several. Back to you, Duncan. Duncan, I'm standing here with Miss Kenya Leonard. The, uh, she's with the NAACP Youth Council. She got the young folks out here today. They are out here at this festive event. Uh, Ms. Kenya, Ms. Leonard, tell the people what's going down with the Youth Council. Okay, so the NAACP Youth Council today, they're doing a fundraiser. And a fundraiser is just to help us with our operational costs for throughout the year. Also to help support when we go to the National Conference. This past year it went to Cincinnati, Ohio. Last year it went to Philadelphia. And then next year we're going to Baltimore, Maryland. But in the meantime, the young people are learning the importance of giving back to their community. And they're also getting ready to embark on a new opportunity, which is working with Good Shepherd Church, where they're going to learn how to work with our legislators and public officials and how to ask, ask and answer intelligent questions about now politics. That's some leadership. For yeah. <laughs> yeah. Developing good leaders. Yes, in exactly. That is our vision to develop a new generation of civil rights leaders and community leaders. And NAACP got their annual uh, Freedom Fund banquet coming up. Yes, it is on October 9th, and our young people will be there serving as hosts and hostesses. And we'll be there as well. All right, that's what we're see. <laughs> All right, that's awesome. All right. Is, uh, anything else you want to say to the company? To the community. That we are always openly recruiting young people. So if you know anybody who's interested, please give us a shout. Uh, my name is Kenya Leonard, and my email address is Kenya.Leonard, L E O N A R D, at gmail.com. Or you can always contact our president at 4700 State Street, uh, Mr. Stanley Franklin, if you're interested in the youth council as well. And we can take youth as young as eight years old up to 17 years old. Mm -hmm. Duncan, Kenya Leonard, NAACP Youth Council. Back to you. Amen. Right. Hey, still out here at Movie Night, the city's movie night, standing here with Stephanie Bush and Terrence Taylor for Community Development Sustainable Solutions. They are on the set. You can find them everywhere about town. So, Stephanie, what's going on for you guys today? Oh, today we just came out to support the city. We came out to be part of the solution, you know, and it's great to come out here and see all of the people engaged from the young to the old, and that's what it's all about. If we're going to begin to heal, we need to start together. It feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. Brother Terrence, what you got to say? 
Well, what I say is, what I see right here, right now, is the kids, they're out here with their parents, and everybody is actually having a great time out here. We're East St. Louis, and we're all coming together right behind the East St. Louis sign. How much better can we do than that? We got a movie out here for the kids, 33-foot screen. I mean, come on now, who do that? The East St. There you go. You know, so most times you have to go to the hill or Long Acre Park to see something like this. I'm glad that our city officials and leaders decide to do this for the community. Absolutely. A great thing. Right? Absolutely. And we commend you too, WESL, for putting on an event and letting us know what's happening out here in the community. High five to you. Uh, you know, I don't mind getting down and dirty with it. Uh, one, thing, one thing before I let you go, uh, Sister Bush, what's coming up next for uh, Community Development Sustainable Solution? Well, we're moving on to our trunk or treat and then also to our big give back. So we're looking to do some more things to um, promote nonviolence and community cohesiveness. I like trunk or treat. All right. Well, we'll be together then. Okay, when okay. you know to get with us. Right. All, All right. right. Okay. All right, there, Duncan. These two individuals that does the great work in our community. I'm going to kick it back to you as we go about our business, continuing to find the solutions. All, All right. right. Amen. All right. Amen. Whoop. You know I got to be here. So excited to have all of you out here. We're so excited to serve you um, at City Hall. Um, we want to thank all of our sponsors. Did anybody get some food tonight? If you enjoyed the food, I want you to stand up, turn to the people back there that gave it to you, and give them a round of applause. Give it up for them. We thank all of our sponsors tonight. We thank you all for all the food and the drinks that we had. Um, we really appreciate you for partnering with the city. Listen, I'm not going to be before you long. I just want to tell all of you that this is not the first. This is the first movie night, but it's not the last event that we will have. So be on the lookout for all the wonderful things that we do in the city hall. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful time. If you have cell phones, would you please do everybody a favor and silence them right now? Let's do each other a favor and silence your cell phones right now. Secondly, can we please not walk in front of the screen? Parents, I'm going to ask you to patrol your children. Please do not let them walk in front of the screen. Everybody wants to enjoy the movie tonight. With that being said, we thank you all. hope you have a wonderful time. Thank you. Duncan, the people have came out tonight for the city's movie night. First of several, uh, brother city manager just got to addressing the crowd, laying down the ground rules for uh, engagement on tonight. So the movie is about to start. You can see all the people behind me. They have really came out tonight for this gathering. We want to commend the city for putting on this event for the children in the community. And we hope that they just continue to come out and continue to do community events that's going to continue to rally uh, unity within our community. So I'm going to throw it back to you, Duncan, as you pan the, the, the crowd, and I'm going to step on to the side. Duncan, standing here with Mildred Motley, the executive director of the East St. Louis Housing Authority, and it's to my understanding that they are one of the co-sponsors of the event. How you doing, Ms. Motley? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. So I see you got all your people behind you. I don't know. People, yeah. looking all fashionable. Right, right. What do you want people to know about your uh, co-sponsoring uh, co this event? We co-sponsored this event because we think it's important to have events of this nature so that people can come out, enjoy family time, a free event, a time for you to meet your neighbors, other East St. Louis uh, residents, and commune with the people who work for the city as well as us and get to know each other on a more personal basis versus just always business. Uh, Ms. Molly, is there anything that you want the, city, uh, the community to know as it relates to the East St. Louis Housing Authority? Uh, of course. We um, house people who um, are low income, so all of our rents are based on your income. Uh, we have uh, 
available units in one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom. We are hiring for various positions, and we're also trying to um, um, increase our visibility in the community and, and let people know that uh, we have good residents and we have nice properties and we're trying to showcase the best of us. Very good. I like that. Uh, Ms. Motley, what about emergency housing? If you find a family that is in need of housing, if they have just been displaced and find themselves homeless, what, what, are your, what does the Housing Authority do to address that? Right now, we do not have a preference for homeless because we found that for the most part, people who come to us, they're all in need and in such a great need. We do have a preference for veterans. We have a preference for people who have a job here in East St. Louis, but we do not have a preference for um, homeless or displaced right now. Very good. So, are you having a good time tonight? I am. I'm having a very good time. I love an outdoor movie. Well, Ms. Miley, it is a, such a pleasure to meet you. I didn't know who the executive director was of the Housing Authority, and now that I have met you, I find you to be very pleasant. So, thanks so much. Any any shouts out you want to send to anybody, like the kids say, you want to shout out anybody? <laughs> I just shout out my residents. Hope some of them are here. For those who couldn't come, hopefully you'll come at the next event. Shout out to my staff who came out and volunteered. No pressure, but they did volunteer, and um, that's it. I know that feeling, ED to ED, I'm loving it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mildred Motley, Executive Director, East St. Louis Housing Authorities, and we're going to kick it back to you, Duncan, at the studio.